Hello, welcome pen friends. It's time for Chris's Inked Pens, and this is for February 2022. I can't believe we've already, uh, you know, made our way through January. So here are the pens, and we'll look at these real quick, and then we'll get right into my ink journal, and I'll show you what I've got everything inked up with while I'm making a writing sample. So uh, first up is the Lamy All-Star, which is, I think this is a purple one. This was sent to me by a viewer, and I do have a 1.1 stub on it uh, with a very special ink. <laughs> and then next up is a Lamy Safari in the pink. I just purchased this with a gift card from Goulet uh, in December, and I have put on one of my older Lamy Broad Nibs onto it. Okay. I, you can see a theme here. It's mostly pinks and purples because I'm thinking about Valentine letter writing and so forth. And then next up is one of my favorite Gen Hao X750s. I don't even bother to make excuses as to why I ink it up so much. I just love it. It's pink and it's got a broad yo-wo nib on it that came from uh, Australia when I ordered my one of my serendipities. And then next up is another favorite. Um, last year, 2021, was all about Opus 88s, and this is probably one of my favorite ones. I think, believe it or not, one of the smaller ones, uh, the Colero Red, is my absolute favorite and was my first one. But this is the Omar with the, I think it has a weird name, like Lipstick Purple or something like that. I'm not sure. But I'll have to look that up when I make the tag. And it does have a broad nib on it. And I got this one ready to go. I've already opened the ink valve because I wanted to make sure it was nice and ready. And then next up, another Gen Hao X750 in purple. Uh, really uh, second only to the pink one. I really love this one. And this also has uh, the other broad nib that came from my poor serendipities have been stripped of their nibs because they are just my favorite nibs. They're tuned really wet, um, even more so than some of my other broad, just standard number six nibs. And then next up is a one that I, it just caught my eye when I was going through the pen case. I knew that this is the Gen Hao 301 with an extra fine nib, which is not normally my favorite, but since I'm, you know, playing around in a Hobonichi that was sent to me by a viewer, I'm really uh, grateful that I have a few pens with extra fine and, and fine nibs on them. I would say this is more writes like a fine, um, than an extra fine, say, I mean, it doesn't compare to the Pilot nibs. It, it's more like a fine in, in the standard, like compared to the Gen Hows. <clears throat> That's how I feel anyway. But I just, I love the beauty of the pen. It's got that beautiful um, finial with the little uh, faux diamonds, and it was a gift from a pen friend. So next up is a uh, Another gift from a pen friend, it is the Platinum, I think it's called Little Shooting Star, and I, it's got a fine medium nib on it, which I tuned myself just to exactly where I wanted it to be, and again, I thought, ooh, this has got to be inked up. It's perfect for um, the Hobonichi and for little entries, uh, note-taking in my everyday note-taker, um, which I call my commonplace notebook, and I do have a... a converter for it. I ordered two converters from um, platinum converters from Vaness. So that was with channel money. And then here is another pen friend gift, a Parker Vector. Um, and it does say somewhere on here, made in the USA. And it's got a fine nib. It's a really nice pen. It's got a little cartridge um, converter in it too, which I really love. It's not that I don't like cartridges. I just feel like I get a nicer saturation of the nib and it's, it's easier with a converter. So, okay, so those are the pens. Let's move over to the ink journal. We're gonna be hopping into the um, Bond Travel Gear. Oops, that's got some dust on it. <laughs> Weird, because I just had it open. Uh, 68 GSM Tamoy River Paper Notebook. Okay, so the cats had me up at, I don't know, it was five something, which is pretty good, actually. It's good when it's anything that's after five and not before five <laughs> in the morning. So I just decided to get fancy in here and, and do a, um, it's been a while. I had been using just this little uh, smaller one, which now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this still. I've already kind of entered the entry so I could see, but I wanted to write 
uh, in front of you, so to speak, so you could kind of have that experience as much as I can give it to you. So our first ink is um, the Noodler's King Philip Requiem. And I have a nib that I prefer for that, and it's the Lamy Stub, the 1.1. There's something about it that I like this ink better in the Lamy Stub. It kind of slows it down, and it's a... Um, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Maybe we can see and I can explain more while I'm writing, but it's a beautiful ink. It is very flowy and it's extremely stainy. And I am, I'm still eternally sorry that my pen friend stained his Ahab with it. I've offered to replace it, but no, it wasn't a favorite pen. Um, so definitely if you get this ink, uh, be careful. It does stain um, demonstrators. So I have it in something that it won't bother me. If it stains it. So it's Lamy <clears throat> All Star. And I had looked this up. I believe it's just purple is the color name. I hope I'm not wrong. 1.1 stub. Um, let's see. Maybe that's a good place to do our little thing. And it's Noodlers. This was my ink that I celebrated my fourth, uh, four years of YouTubing with, and I bought a 16 ounce bottle. Oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, lessons learned. That's a lot of ink. Okay. Um, I just love it. It's very flowy. And on this Tamoy River paper, you don't get the, the sharp, crispy line of the Lamy. But when I'm writing on other papers, I do. Um, for instance, let's see, I think this is CVS Caliber. So on here, uh, I'm more likely to see that specific. And, it, and it's flowy enough. I don't know why I'm writing the word here. <laughs> Really, we want to see, right? <laughs> so uh, for letter writing, I often pick up my CVS Caliber paper, which is kind of a budget paper for this pen and ink because it doesn't bleed through, which if you use this ink at all, you'll find out is kind of a, slightly a miracle. Um, let's see. And I didn't mean to. Okay, so it, it, it doesn't bleed through the Tamoy River 68 GSM either, but I believe it tries and it also tries pretty hard on the 52. But this is going to be a joy. This was a commemorative ink to commemorate one of my friends. It was her favorite and she passed away a couple years ago. So the next up is Diamine Claret. I just got this in. Um, I just ordered this ink. Okay, and I put it some in, in one of these, but it's in a little uh, diamine bottle. Let's see, I, this is what I got, it was the 30 mil. Because I thought this was gonna be quite a bit brighter, um, but that's okay, it, it's really neat. I'm doing a pink study this uh, next few days, I'm almost done. This uh, will appear bright to the camera probably, but it's, it's actually not as magenta as what I thought it would be, but I like it, I really like it. It's got plenty of visibility. Uh, this is Lamy Safari in Broad, which is typically my favorite nib for the Lamy's, but I do like to see that ink, the King Philip, in, um, in the stub. So, okay. Diamine Claret. Of course, we'll do longer writing samples and everything around the middle of the month and I'll be able to give you kind of a report of how things are going. But that's a nice wet ink and I like it in the broad nib. So that's going to be really pretty. Next up is one that I'm, I've almost finished the sample. It's a uh, Levenger Pinky, Pinkly, Pinkly. Uh, and they're not making it anymore, but I love it in this uh, broad nib and I remember it from last year. So I, I got out and I uh, saw that I had enough. So here we go. It's a nice wet ink and it's a beautiful ink that looks almost like uh, Diamine Hope Pink. So this is Jin Hao X750 Broad. Whoops, I'm shaking the whole desk. I wonder why. <clears throat> Whoops, if I'm not careful, I'm going to have two or three different colors there. With Levenger Pinkly. Um, this was a sample. Uh, from a, a pen friend, a generous pen friend, and I actually have ink in the mail to her this week, so whoa, I got my act together. That's a, it's gonna rain, I think. Okay, okay, next up is Cross Violet. I've really been 
wanting to try the purple cross violet in this pen. Um, I just, you know, I thought, well, uh, hopefully I won't end up with a bunch of staining, but if I do, I'll, I'll clean it out. I, I've had a little bit in the cap, but that doesn't bother me too bad. I don't actually think this ink will stain, but I don't know. It, it's new to me. It's sample. I actually had a couple little samples, uh, and I put them all together. Oh, mercy. That's embarrassing. But in my defense, I didn't know that I would, you know, be getting from more than one person, so I did put it together in a little bottle, and I, I cherish it, if that helps. So, <laughs> Okay, this is uh, Opus. But I am at the point where nobody can really send me ink because I have so many samples. I, I think that's the point I'm trying to make. Omar. I mean, you can, but it's sort of like a... Uh, yeah, I have to hunt sometimes to see. Oh, yeah, I think I have that. Let me see where it is. With a broad nib. This is so wet and juicy. I, I just love it. And I love how saturated it is, but it, it still looks so nice and purple to me. Now, the camera may make it look dark cross violet but it's it's beautiful purpley magic as far as I'm concerned and it doesn't bother me at all um, it's not too dark see when it, when a purple's too dark and it looks black to me I don't like it as much so I mean I there's a use for that but it's not my favorite that's all okay next up is the diamine all the best shimmer this was the last ink for day 25 Christmas Day for the Diamine Ink Vent calendar. And it was my favorite ink of all of them. Just gorgeous. It's got so much going on. Whoops. I probably should at least um, kind of roll the pen a little because that is shimmer ink. And we hope to get as much of it on the page as possible. So this is the Purple Gen Hao X750. And this is, you know, it's a red, but it, it's got a lot going on. It's got the, the purple shimmer and the green sheen. So you can really get a lot of neat stuff going on. Jin Hao. And I know it's not Christmas anymore, but I just, I love it. I love it. I, I thought it would be great for Valentine's. Okay. And it's Diamine. All the best. Let's see, we'll do a couple, and I, I just kind of like to see that <laughs> extreme smear because it brings out the, the base color even more for you on the camera, I think. I, I didn't do it for le uh, pinkly, but I think you can kind of see how bright pink pinkly is. So, <laughs> Okay, next up, I purposely, a viewer suggested I use Diamine Writer's Blood, you know, in, a, in like an extra fine nib because... Uh, she point she he probably more than one person pointed out how wet this ink is and it is and I thought that's a great idea because that might help me to uh, not feel like it's so scratchy well this this is not a scratchy pen but sometimes an extra fine or a fine doesn't feel right to me because I'm so used to a broad nib but this was a I think a good choice let's see yeah it's just wow it, it's and I have never done any smoothing i don't think on this pen this just is a good pen right out of the box jin hao uh 301 sometimes i have to make sure i'm holding it right because my nearsightedness kind of bothers um uh, it's probably a fine nib but i'm i kind of call it extra fine because i don't know uh yeah i'm confused Okay, so it depends on the day, depends on what I'm thinking. Um, and this is a pink one. I think some people call it diamond hat. Diamond hat. But it is the pink. There's different colors. Okay. I can tell this will be really good for the Hobonichi <clears throat> weeks. Okay, I, I do need to remember how to hold it. It's very nice. And again, that's kind of on in that same color family of, of a deep burgundy red kind of. Okay, then next up, another one that has kind of a fine nib on it with Platinum Mixable Silky Purple, one of my favorites. I can't remember where I very first saw this, but it could have been in an ink flight. And then my pen friend... Um, 
from Florida sent me a sample of it, which I still have some. And this is perfect. It may not be a color match for this little platinum, but I love it. Platinum, I think Little Shooting Star, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Oh my, I, I tuned that nib nice. <clears throat> Sometimes I don't have the patience for that. I think this is considered a 03. Kind of in line like the preppies in a way. <clears throat> Oops, I didn't leave room for my little smear. Okay, platinum. So this pen is really tricked out. It's got a platinum converter, which is probably cost as much as the pen. And then it's got platinum ink. So wow, lucky me, I guess. <laughs> Mixable, silky. But look at that. Look how you can end up with a pen under $20 even when you have to buy the converter. <laughs> And it's great. And I think this will be good for the Hobonichi too. It's not so sloppy that it's going to be too huge. I can actually write really small with this. Um, and I did so. This has the little tiny grid. And, and there's my little sample for myself. Just to make sure the pen would write. <clears throat> okay. What am I doing? I'm forgetting. Okay. Nice and wet and yet not too bad. And nice and fine to go in the little fine spaces. And then last but not least, I thought I would try uh, Mont Blanc Velvet Red. Now this sample came all the way from overseas and I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but I know exactly, I know, I know Toby sent it, so um, thank you. And uh, at the same time had introduced me to the Mont Blanc Psychedelic Purple, which I bought a bottle of, but this is a sample that I'm enjoying still. And when I saw how it wrote in this little Parker Vector, it was like, wow, this is cool. I actually wondered, I thought maybe it would be too dry for this little pen, but this has a really nice medium nib. I don't know why I thought that, you know, I thought, well, this is a total experiment, but it's wonderful. Um, so Parker Vector, uh-oh, V-E, hmm. All right, I might not be spelling it right. I can't remember. That's terrible. Okay. And Mont Blanc. Velvet Red. I hope I'm attributing correctly who sent it. At this point, I have scrambled brains as far as there's just been so much generosity. But, that, you know, with when it comes to pens, I have a pretty good inventory with initials of who sent them. But when it comes to ink samples, we're talking about over, you know, like 500. So that in my defense, I thank everyone and I'm so appreciative. But I sometimes think I may be making a mistake. Okay, so that's what will be happening. Um, my writing for February, whoops, well, let's just move that out and we'll, we'll put the pens here for a minute. My writing for February will be much like usual. Um, I don't actually do Inco Rimo per se, but every day I will be trying to write a letter. So in a way I'm participating. It's just that I'm not picking up new pen pals because I'm already so, <laughs> you know, um, I have a lot of regular pen pals and I don't want to be, uh, creating a situation where I don't get around to everybody. I like to write a letter a month to everybody. I'm getting a little bit slow though. Um, and different things that happen, like with the cat and stuff, slowed me down. But uh, I got right back on writing. So I'll be writing letters. I'll be making my notes on the books I'm reading. And I'll be journaling. And actually I'm gonna, I'm moving into, a, since I wasn't as crazy about the Loistrom uh, 120 gram paper, I've decided to use it as a combo um, bullet journal and daily uh, writer because I, I uh, like the paper in here better than the paper in this one. Unfortunately, I love the cover, but a lot of my fountain pens bleed through this and they don't with the Loistrom. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to continue with a little um, faux uh, Hobonichi. And then in the other Hobonichi that I'm trying out, I'm doing ink, uh, ink samples and stuff like that. And 
testing out pens and trying to figure out whether uh, they really compare because I love the layout on this and there's no wasted space in this faux one. It doesn't have a lot of writing. So anyway, that's probably for another video. Let's just keep it at that for now, but I'm excited because I will have more to talk to you about as far as the Loistrom paper once I've used it more. And I, I think I did go in and test out some pens. Let's see. Oh yeah, but I didn't come in yet with the Califolio Andronopal, so I need to do that before tomorrow. So a lot of little irons on the on the stove here. But as we end, I want to talk about my favorite pen from January. I I just can't tell you enough about this. Um, and to do that, I got to show you where it all kind of came came out to me. Okay, so. Here it is. This is the Moon Man uh, Wan Kai Mini with a broad Goulet number no. 5 nib that I put on it. Of course, it posts like this. So this was my absolute favorite. It, it's a wonder any of the other pens got any showing at all, except that when it came to letter writing, I made sure I was picking up the other pens. But when it came to making notes on the book, okay, so at the time I was doing... Uh, I guess I don't have the tag for Hungry Ghost, but I was doing uh, Gabor Mate's uh, something Hungry Ghost. Anyway, it's a, it's a book about addiction, and I was doing almost all of the notes with this and then using my water brush, and it just, I guess by showing you the writing samples, I can't actually get across how uh, smooth, whoops, that was just a you know, the starter of it. I haven't used the pen this morning because this is Sunday. <clears throat> um, Sunday, January 30th, as I'm taping this because I've got two things I owe my channel, two videos. So all I can say about it is this was so perfect. It's got a lot of green sheen, but it goes down real uh, magenta. And then when you use your water brush on it, let's see. Then I kind of switched up just a little, but I went back to it again. Here I'm reading The Body Keeps the Score, um, The Cook and the Smoke Detector. Oh boy, I just keep coming back to this pen and I have it almost, I noticed it was like down to here. That's two fills that I used in one month. So ne that's never happened before. And I love my little rickshaw um, around the neck. I put it around my neck and Coco tries to chase it like he thinks it's a toy, but at least the pen is not rolling around on the floor. So that was the winner for January. And uh, we already went over the, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we already went over the grades. It got the A double plus. It was the only one that got that. And then the Opus 88 Halo got a A plus also. And so did the Twisby Vac 700R Iris, but that's not fair. I already know that you could put almost anything in that one and it gets, gets an A. So that is what my February looks like for writing. And I hope, uh, if nothing else, because sometimes I wonder, why am I doing this video? Does anybody really care? Well, I think it just is, it's an incentive to me to get organized in time for the new month to start. So that's the first reason I do it. And, and then it's a strong indicator when lots of people comment that it's sort of uh, either inspiring or um, a little nudge or something and people are telling me what they're inking with. Many people are far more organized and ahead of the game <laughs> than I am. But then some, it's like, oh yeah, you've inspired me to... Uh, to get decide what I'm going to write with and and so I enjoy that because I really don't have much contact with humans right now <laughs> during this time it's it's strange but anyway if you made it this far you get a gold star so <laughs> put a put a little star icon and I'll know you made it all the way to the end and I will see you on the next video which is going to be um, a continued uh, discussion of Califolio Andronopal so take care and have a great Inky time. Bye for now.